Drip Network's Drip Token is on an absolute tear right now, heading on up, showing some super bullish signs during a day that overall has been looking quite bearish for cryptocurrencies. And with Drip, we've now seen it not only hit that 50 cent level, testing that, but smashing past it, continuing on, now at 63 cents as of the time of me recording this video. This is for the DEX over on the native Drips side. Now, if we hop on over to the pancake swap side, we do have a little bit of a different story here. It's at 52 cents. So the question for many people might be, well, why would I want to buy on the native DEX as opposed to that of the pancake swap? Well, there's a couple reasons. So first off is that if you buy it over on the native DEX website, you have a separate liquidity pool. That's the actual one that's mostly associated with Drip itself. So that's good in of itself. The second thing is that there's an incentive if you buy through the native DEX, there's no buying fee. Whereas if you do it through PancakeSwap, there is that fee. So you gotta deal with arbitrage. Even though you're looking at a 52 cent price on PancakeSwap, got to add in about an extra 10% on top of that, and then that would make it seem a little bit more viable for you. So those are a couple key factors. If we zoom out here, right, this is on the 15 minute time span. This looks quite good, but let's go ahead and swap it over to the day charts. And if we take a look, boom, we see a nice big bullish green candle coming up here. Volume definitely starting to ramp itself up. And guess what, guys? This is without so many things that are still right around the corner. We're talking about there's marketing campaigns with different influencers that's been talked about from Forex Shark. And a lot of that marketing that's been going on lately, basically all the marketing, has been focused on the animal farm. So we're talking about drip here, not the animal farm, right? So remember, when you add in marketing, you're creating exposure to new potential buyers, and that definitely helps with the opportunity to drive up the market price, okay? And market orders. So when we take a look at this here, we see a nice green candle going on. What other utilities do we have to look forward to that's primarily looking like it's driving this? We have things such as the Drip Drop Draw. This is a community-based project. I have another video that I've talked about this before. I'll include a link to that video down in the description below. And with that project, guys, basically in short, it's a raffle-based system. And even if you lose, you still get something back and it helps feed back into the Drip Faucet. That's one key thing. So you're seeing a lot of people in the community space that are talking about that. They're really excited about it. That is supposed to be coming out with the Drip UI, which has been estimated to be around the early part of March. And here we are, we're one week away from March itself. So if this stuff does fall in line, then we're looking at it being anywhere from ideally, you know, probably two weeks away to maybe five weeks away. Hopefully they keep these things on track. We know that with the history of stuff with Forex Shark and just how this stuff tends to play out, that things end up getting delayed. But we've heard about the UI for a long time now. I would hope that at this point, we're gonna have something a little more reliable. Plus keep in mind, there's also an AMA that's coming up in just tomorrow. I was about to say in two days, but it's actually tomorrow. It's right around the corner. That's on a Thursday. And we typically see these AMAs with Forex Shark on Thursdays. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and zoom out on the chart here. Obviously, if we zoom out, you're going to see what? A lot of red, a massive, massive amount of red. And that doesn't look good, right? There's definitely concerns there. And it's understandable if people look at this and they say, as you zoom out, look at where it's at now and where it was before. It's down tremendously. And guys, I get it. You have to look at the circumstances revolving around this and the fact that this is a project that through a massive bear market has been able to continue to pay out its 1% rewards in that drip. There's still liquidity, the developers did not rug pull, and that's saying a lot more than what happened to a lot of other projects, especially other projects that try to have a similar business model as this over the course of the last year. So you add in the additional utilities, such as the animal farm, you have the drip USD liquidity pairing, that in itself creates an opportunity to relieve some of that selling pressure. Remember, you can buy this, you can trade it proactively on the market if you want to. You can also stake it in various avenues, such as the faucet, the reservoir, the animal farm, 
and that's just to get started. We're not even talking about the other stuff that's looking to come out here in the future with the new Drip UI. We're looking at Fiat on-ramping, off-ramping opportunities. We're looking at uh, a game that's coming out, at least one game, Scratchies, which is different from the Drip Drop Draw. The list is going on, right? I'm even talking in considerations about seeing a, a new game concept idea. I'm not gonna talk about the details here right now, but I thought of it last night and I'm trying to talk it over with them. I think it's a really cool idea and we'll see where that goes in itself, okay? So sure, when you zoom out on the charts, this doesn't look great, but if you look at it on a micro perspective, it does look great. Because for example, when we zoom in here, you can see that we have these tendencies of going for two or three days in a row of green and then boom, it ends up falling down harder. We can see that on a repeated pattern, right? So you might be asking yourselves, why is this different? This is different because we just had a very short time span where after those three days of run up, it pulled back and now the green ran up once again and actually exceeded above the previous green climb up. So that is in of itself a trend change pattern. And with everything that we've been looking at, the circumstances again, adding in the utilities, adding in a reason why people want to actually buy this now and having the FOMO, that FOMO really kicks in once people are very proactively in the chat talking, they're excited, right? This is just normal buying behavior. So we're seeing that taking place right now. Remember, the market is not great today. The crypto market is quite bad. Let's pull that up. So take a look at this, guys. We're looking at most of the market for crypto in the red. Not a substantial amount down. It's not 8%, 10% or more, but we're seeing Bitcoin's down, Ethereum's down, BNB, AVAX, the list goes on and on and on, right? And when you take a look at all that and you say, hey, let's go take a look back over here at Drip. Boom, Drip up in the last 24 hours, 34.91%. You might be asking yourselves, okay, well, is that a pump and dump type situation? Let's be real again, right? I try to be very, very real with you guys on all of this stuff. The fact that it climbs up so much, you're going to have an increased odd that there's going to be sellers. One of the things that I took notice of is that we now have substantially more drip liquid in people's wallets because it's liquid and it's not actually in the vault. That means that it's readily available for people to be able to sell. So people might look at that and be like, well, if people are going to potentially end up dumping soon. Why should I buy? It's kind of a weird statement when you think about it, because you could use the same application to any other investment in crypto, right? And most of these other cryptos don't have some sort of a design system like what Drip has, where you can actually be able to deposit it or stake it and be able to receive it. There are crypto out there that have it. Sure. Most don't. So guys, we are looking at this right now. And as it is, it still looks quite bullish. Keep in mind that if people do end up selling, that lowers the price down. These people that are buying in at these prices for substantial amounts of money, there's a really good decent chance that those people have bought drip previously. And that means that there's also a good chance that they may buy drip again. So if they got enough capital, enough capital to be able to play with the market here, don't worry, if they believe in the project, they see what's happening on the charts. They're actually keeping an eye on this, that capital, at least some of it, there's a decent chance that we're gonna be seeing some of that coming back in at some point. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Again, this is also dealing with primarily the same base community that we've had. Because of the lack of new marketing, we're not really getting a lot of new eye exposures. So everything that's taking place as of lately is largely pre-existing community. It's not saying that it's exclusive to that, Right. Hopefully there are people that are learning about this project, especially with the coverage that's taking place with the animal farm, because they essentially go hand in hand. But guys, a lot of this is coming from a lot of the regular people. So imagine when you start rolling out all the other utilities, which decreases the selling pressure opportunities even more because people would rather opt in to receiving additional benefits by participating in these other things. Right. So that is a huge, huge element. And then you roll out the marketing on top of that so that new people actually are aware of all of these utilities. And you got enough traction going on with the project where people start to look at it and go, you know what, okay, maybe it's not gonna keep going down longer. And you know what, like I always say, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. You don't wanna buy this right now? 
no one's forcing you to i'm sharing with you what's going on with the price charts i'm sharing with you guys the sentiment that's going on with the community we are looking at this over on the native decks 65 cents it's still going up still going up tax vault healthier than ever why is that tax vault so important because that's what pays out those daily rewards if you participate in the drip faucet you want to get one percent interest okay there you go guys boom 1.25 million drip absolutely insane from what i can tell when i looked through the telegram group sounds like this is the most drip that's ever in its history almost two years old now the most drip ever that's been in the tax vault at one given point in time because of the bear market there was an extended period of time where new drip had to be minted it still paid out that one percent but obviously when you're minting new tokens that devalues the per token value so ideally you don't want that to happen so the more drip that's in that tax vault the healthier the ecosystem is because that helps maintain the actual supply and right now it is healthier than it has ever been and that's saying a lot very bullish i'm very excited on this if you guys want to get started or if you want to open up a new wallet guys you can use my referral for this to participate in the drip faucet i have that referral address down in the description below really do appreciate it if you guys do that and if you like this content don't forget to hit subscribe hit the thumbs up like button thank you so much to my patreon supporters double shout out thank you to we love safemoon.com victor vegas safemoon oz for being higher level patrons thank you to my youtube members for your support as well god bless don't forget to subscribe guys we'll see you in the next episode